uh, the Lapras open, right? Yeah, and instead they've gone for a Hooper and a Zashian found. Yeah, who? I, I, also, I say this every week. I feel like Hooper is such a pain to deal with, so I, I always welcome that ban. But it looks like we do have the Nashi opening up with the Inteleon. Inteleon is a staple Pokemon we see every week, so really important that they, they were able to snatch that. Yeah, Inteleon is one of those Pokemon that is always a first pick, if not banned first. And to counter this, it looks like Misfits are going to go for a Mew and a Wiggly. Interesting to see the Wiggly, actually, as the uh, as an opening pick uh, for support. And I'm really interested about no Lapras pick so far. But it does look like Type Weeper are going to secure the Lapras for themselves, which is quite smart. And uh, and the Blaziken pick. I always enjoy yeah. seeing Blaziken. Not seen much yeah, Blaziken with, yet. Yeah, with the recent patch of Blaziken being buffed, you're going to probably see a more all-round pick for Blaziken being used in the league more often. And... Maybe not a very prioritised picks for Lapras with its nerfs with the Perish song. Oh yes, of course Lapras did get nerfed. And actually, guys, while while it's on my mind, just to remind you, Mimikyu is currently banned as it is a new release, and we do have a uh, a two week quarantine for Mimikyu, uh, so you won't see them. Uh, you won't see Mimikyu picked in tonight's games or next week's games, I believe. Yeah, be the first two weeks of this season, so week eight, week nine, and then if it's all good, then week 10 we will allow it to be picked. And with that being said, Pot Noodle and Lunari gone for the Vino and Crefable. Yeah, so, I, you know what, I'm really interested to see how well the Blaziken and Lapras is going to do, because as you say, there's been buffs and nerfs for both these Pokemon. Decidueye, now, Decidueye is my favourite Pokemon to play right now, so I'm very excited to see how well this is going to go. But looking at these team comps, um, I'm going to give it a type Wooper. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. Type Wooper have got really solid picks. The Venu, the Lapras can still do really good effort with the Water Pulse Bubble Bean combo. The amazing buffs on the Chicken Nuggy and the Inteleon just being Inteleon amazing. A nuisance. Yeah. An absolute nuisance. Uh, sorry, guy, the music was too loud. You're right. I, we started talking in the uh, the intro script screen rather than the commentator screen so that was my mistake but you should be able to hear us all perfectly yeah. clear now and with the i was going to say quickly with the decidue white it's also had a buff with its razor leaf so i know we'll shooting out for i love it i love it razor leaf was always my favorite pick but we'll yeah. we can know that about that after for now let's just talk about who's playing what so nanashion inteleon lalad and bladeskin Altenor on venusaur pot noodle and lapras Lilani on Clefable, and then we have Rossum on Wigglytuff, Deera on Mew, Dox on Blissey, Cora with Shifu, and what the hell was that? Casa Casa Desert on Decidueye. I think I said Okay, that. we that need one? to pause the game. We've got a crash. We got a crash. Okay, guys, sorry. Give us yeah. a. Just have to pause the game, so we'll be right back. Let's see what is going on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. We did have a, a DC there, but we are back into the game. Right, well, I'll just talk about where everyone is. So, in the bottom lane for Type Weeper, we do have Inteleon and Lapras. It looks like in the jungle, we will be getting Bulbasaur. And in the top lane, it will be Clefable and Blaziken. And up top, we got the Naruto bird, the Sijuai and the Blissey up top. In the jungle, we got Urshifu and Danbot. We got the Mew and the Wiggly. Oh, this Wiggly Cup's getting very... Gotta be very careful. Nice eject button just to get out there. But it looks like Lapras also is taking a bit of damage from the Mew. I think Decidueye is in the top lane getting a lot of... Oh, yeah, getting these stacks. But a lot of pressure coming yeah. in from the Clefable. Could get jumped on here by a Blaziken, though. Yeah, he just had to eject button out of there quickly. But Clefable has used these eject speed to take it out. That's a nice early secure, especially on a Pokemon that uh, looks like he's stacking this game. Let's have a quick look in this bottom lane and see how the Mew is doing. Uh, yeah, Mew and Wiggly just taking their uh, their their lane farm pretty pretty calm. Top lane, we have another fight going on, but we do a uh, full evolution Blissey. Here comes the Ashifu. You've got to try and get to that Blaziken, but just run out of steam, unfortunately. And this is the first bees. Yep, and oh. down bottom, it looks like Inteleon has got to his second stage evolution down there and but oh the line goes out sorry about that uh clefable we'll taken out by the shifu shifu going in really deep able to steal a berry might be able to pick up this kill and lar lad oh goes yeah. down beautiful and actually taking some of the uh the lane farm they were saving for themselves Blissey needs to get a heal down unlucky docs be careful though dude 
Oh, no. <laughs> Slaps that Venusaur. Nicely done. Yeah, lovely play there by the Urshifu, putting immense pressure on their little chicken and the Ivy Sword there and getting a double kill out of it. Yeah, I do always really enjoy seeing the Blissey plays uh, as uh, <coughs> egg, Eggs off 91. Stop playing very your favourite Pokemon is Blissey. Well, when Blissey's played as well as this, I can... Uh, I definitely would have to agree. It's a really nice start. But it looks like teams are rotating to the first set of middle Bs. Uh, oh, mm. Mew just eating that up. Lovely. And Dira's taking them all for themselves. Yeah. No, that was... And this is why Mew 2 Beams are so useful, right? Another beautiful yeah. hit in Lilania. Yeah, it's what you're going to probably see throughout the seasons we have is the Mew and the Venu Beams just come in and clutch for their teams with the Secureds. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, nice engage there from Lol Lad. He's going really deep onto Shifu, but Shifu able to dash out there. But if you look at the bottom lane, I believe there's a, a gank come down from both junglers. Wait, no. This, actually, this is a rotation. Yeah, it's a rotation. Interesting. Oh, big damage on the Mew there, but uh, also big damage dealt to Type Weeper. This could be a very snipey battle, isn't it? I just realised. They have Inteleon and Venusaur versus a Decidueye and a Mew. This could really go anywhere. Uh, top yeah. lane, Shifu's just holding lane on his own, though. Yeah, he's just holding it by himself. Probably looking to probably get his stacks in, probably. So Ooh. it's easier for him for the late game. Wiggly's just doing a little two-step there. Always love to see it. Uh, teams are trying to posture up for this first. Regice, uh, Decidueye's getting his arrows charged. He's spinning around it. You're not going to hit him one like that, my friend. Nice uh, snipe there on Pot Noodle Lapras, doing a nice bit of damage. And this is where uh, Decidueye is really going to shine. Just being able to use a snipe. Oh, big in uh, sorry, big ult there from the Venusaur, but not enough to stop Decidueye's snipe securing the uh, objective. It looks like a, a wipe of type Wooper. Yeah, Lala just up top on his own, just getting his stacks in, whilst type Wooper probably losing their bot <clears throat> goal. No, they left it on 20. Oh, excuse me, uh, people listening at home. I've got a bit of a frog in my throat, apparently. Oh. And now we've got a bit of a jungle invade there going on. Oh, excuse me. Right, that's better. Jungle invade. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's have a look. <clears throat> oh, nice arrow. Almost hitting that Venusaur. <laughs> just just snipes coming yeah. out of everywhere. What the hell? Yeah, type Wooper uh, managing to get Reggie Leggy up top, trying to break it in time. Uh, and <clears throat> falling it into one. Yeah, I thought you just falling short by about eight there. But the important thing is that they broke the goal, and that is the first goal broken. Um, let's have a quick look at levels here. Fair, I'd say actually, misfits are slightly ahead at this stage. They've got a couple of uh, they've got three level tens against the mostly level nine team for type Weaver. But I will say this Decidueye is doing such a lovely job with his snipes, yeah. busting his ult out. Not oh, okay. I was gonna say not sure if that was worth it, but this does pick up a kill. Lovely uh, beam there from the. Mew. Oh, oh that was a lovely check button by the Oh, there. big, big arrow from the Was that a double kill? I think that might be a double kill. Yeah, I think it might be. Two two kills, one arrow. Oh, coming in from the Blissey. Looks like Shifu's going after Low Lad on Blaziken. And there we go. And Teleon down by another arrow by the Decidueye. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I, I'm kind of hoping that this is what we're going to be seeing a lot more of Decidueye's. Oh, there's a lot of beams going off and a lot of people dying, but it, it all seems to be a uh, type whooper. What a shame. Yeah, and they, yeah, they managed to break 36 onto <clears> the goal <throat> to give them more of a securable lead. Yeah, it looks like the two supports for Misfits are having a quick look in the jungle. Lila able to pick up that blue buff to make sure nothing, uh, make sure it doesn't get stolen. But uh, I think teams will want to try and get to the bottom as soon as possible because Reggie Rock has just spawned. Uh, not Doxo, yeah. he, he just wants the middle birds. And yeah. That's, and that's okay too. Oh, so does Mew. Yeah. Are, are they just giving up bottom? Uh, I think that they're more focusing on their own leveling up at this moment in time because they know they've got the advantage on levels and they want to maybe get it out a bit more. Another arrow coming in, maybe? No, he holds on to it. Pot Noodle in very aggressive positioning there. Lovely arrow there. Half health in Lil Lad and Lilani. Follows up by an ult to essentially just ward everyone off while the rest of the team just helps himself to Reggie Rock. <laughs> we'll need some big arrows from the Decidueye. Lovely hits Pot Noodle. Big damage. It looks like we do have a big engage here from Wiggly yeah. Tough. Shifu. Blissey does go down, but. Oh. It's. Another secure. Was it? Yeah, oh, another secure. Lola, ma oh, huge damage. I don't know Blaziken's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know the move set or the name of the moves yet, but it was a big kick. Yeah, it, yeah. with Blaziken, it's just one of those 
repeated combos of Unite moves, changing it back and forth from the Blaze Kick and the Overheat. I should, uh, I should. Is it literally Blaze Kick? Yeah, it's literally oh, Blaze I'll, Kick, I'll, Overheat, Fire Punch, and Focus Punch. Now. Okay, they're all okay. After just to do do a better job of remembering them, the name of their moves. Uh, okay, so this I've just got teams kind of. Uh, you know, grabbing jungle, grabbing whatever farm they can. So far, Misfits with a nice level lead now. Uh, saying that, though, actually, the Inteleon hitting level 13, so keeping up with the Decidueye, which can be quite important. Um, it's, a, it's a shame we've not seen a, a snipe shot. No, it's... Inteleon. Liquidation, isn't it? Y yes, from what I gather, yeah, he's a liquidation. Inteleon with acrobatics. I think we might see a steal. Oh. Nearly oh. stole there from the two dry, but uh, yeah, Taipu were able to secure that. <laughs> just taking so much. The Sidrai's damage has got to be insane in this game. He hits so uh, hitting so many of his ults, his ults, his uh, his arrows. Yeah, the Spirit Shackle coming in clutch for his team, and down bottom we had Dira scoring a big fifty to put the pressure even more on Taipu going into this Reggie fight, uh, this Ray fight. Yeah, we've got 10 seconds. It looks like it looks like teams are kind of posturing. Blaziken wants to take the top bush along uh, with uh, Shifu, who's yeah. actually moving into the area. Could be a nice little fight here. They, yeah, they saw each other. Shifu just dumping out the way. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. I believe they're going to have to probably just zone in on this decision. Right? He's going to be a big factor in this ray fight for Misfits. He is, yeah, taking a, putting a nice bit of damage on Lyle. Had a lovely little spin there. I think the Wigglytuff's going to be the main engage in this team. Uh, he's probably, yeah. probably going to want to run in there and try and put them asleep so they can't get oh. together. Oh, but it looks like they're starting on the Wigglytuff. Manages to use his thing to get out. Putting the Lapras to sleep. Lyle just taking so much damage from these snipes. Big ult coming in from the Venusaur. But most of the damage is negated. It looks like Type Whooper in a lot of trouble here. Where is the yeah, Nashi? Nashi needs to really do some damage. The Nashi in trouble. Yeah. Going down to the Kung Fu Panda, and there's a team wipe and an easy ray secure, it looks like, going towards the team of Misfits. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what went wrong there, because, you know, as Pokemon Unite, as you guys all know, Pokemon Unite does happen very quickly, but uh, it just seemed like once Misfits engaged with the Blissey, with the Shifu, and with the Wigglytuff and Sing, it was maybe a little bit too much to, to deal with. Uh, but this is going to, you know, we've got, we've got 51, 51 seconds left on the clock. It's not impossible, but it's very unlikely that uh, Type Weeper are going to come back from this, unfortunately. But let's see if they can stop some scores from going yeah. in. It's going to be a big uphill battle. Now it's about can we get this goal difference down because... What is Mew doing? He... Don't, don't we want to score Mew? Uh, yeah, he's, I think he's just trying to farm to get more points. Uh, he was got his shields gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that arrow... Oh, uh, the CGI is such a pleasure to watch, honestly. Yeah, big Lapras Express there onto the Mew right there and oh. Liquidation taking out the Wiggly. Yeah, not nicely done. Any more arrows from you, the CGI? Uh, probably not, because there's a Blaziken nah. attacking you. Nah, nah. Chicken Little's had enough. Uh, chicken... Saying that, with the help from Blissey? Ah, oh, unlucky. Nah. That would have been cool, wouldn't it? But the main thing is that they managed to stop Type Whooper from doing any more scoring of their goal difference and yeah and guys obviously like sometimes people think oh once you've won what's the point of trying to score more goals uh, in in the in the league we do have goal difference and it does play a big part in where you sit in the league like something you know, i think we've got currently four teams who are on similar point on the same points but their goal difference is what's keeping them from separate from one another anyway let's get back to the scores so looking at type whooper overall only having uh, 10 kills between them against i mean quick maths what like just under 30 kills so it, it does look a bit one-sided when it comes to kills and assists but if we have a look at the actual battle data as you yeah. called it yeah what well, uh anything's that wow 100 100k from the decision <laughs> oh intellion there we go I wonder if they were anticipating a slow bro to be uh, brought out this game. Yeah, it's interesting because it's not the first one that we see. Well, I mean... Yeah, we haven't seen it today. Misfits didn't even play a defender last game, so yeah. there must there must be a reason behind that. But it does look like... So we, we're not opening the Mew, so we, we didn't see how how good the Mew plays were last game. But oh, we're seeing an Umbreon, so this will be very interesting because Umbreon is... A Pokemon that I kind of feel like people should be rushing towards as far as defenders. If it's not banned and you can get it, mm -hmm. 
you know, and you can't get a lap for a, for me. The next the next one is always going to be an Umbreon. Um, yeah. That well, that's just me. I'm I'm not great at the game. <laughs> I just, no, I I just I see it as I I say it as I see it. Yeah, with the Umbreon mean look wish, it's a very secure pick, and we've got a Crustle and a Blissey for the team of Misfits. Oh, we've got to see a comfy. Ah, oh, Zorak. Here we go. Speedy boys coming out with the comfy. The keychain going to be sitting on him, but also with the with Blaziken, going to be a very viable target sit on top. But Crustle, yeah, that's going to be fantastic. Um, always enjoy seeing Crustle. I know some of the guys in the chat who are here today. I see J Dogs in the chat. He's a massive Crustle fan. Uh, and the A9, A9 is brutal to come up against. Uh, you know what? So is Buzzwell. That's a very scary team. Yes, I agree with you. Especially if you got if you leave the Buzzwell to stack, you're in for a world of trouble with the Ray fight. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. I think Delphox is actually a really good pick, right? So the crash from the Buzzwell was gonna be charging at them. So I think if they go with the, you know, the Delphox, it's gonna be a very nice CC with a. Oh, what's it called? Fire tornado, or yeah. he's going to be able to just like jump around and and uh, and kite them. So, yeah, this is this is going to be a very close match, I think. Yeah, the fire spin's going to be able to trap them in a circular motion, and then the fire blast if they go over fire blast could do some real big CC damage onto. The oh, team you, ha you have to go fire blast. I used to play with someone who claimed to be a jungler. He used to go fire spin and uh, is it mystic fire? Yeah. Make, just makes no sense to me. Like right, go no. go the fire blast. You can get both procs of the damage off. Um, yeah, I, I I think that's what they're gonna have to be taking. Uh, but yeah, very. This got to be a very interesting match. Let's uh, let's just go over who is playing what. So for misfits, we have Deera on Nine Tails, Ducks on Blissey, Rosen playing as Crustal, Cora on Buzzwell, and Casa Desert on Mew. And then for Type Weeper, we have Nanashi on Delphox, Lal Lad on Blaziken, Altinor on Zora, Pot Noodle on Umbreon and Lenali on Comfy. It's going to be a good game. Yeah, I would have to give the pick phase to Type Wooper again. Uh, I'll give I'll go give it to the Misfits. I think they have a very I think it's going to be scary to see what the Crust and the Buzzwell can do. But let's see what happens, and what, most importantly, let's see who is going where. So for Misfits, looks like in the bottom lane we are going to be having a Nine Tails. On a crustal, Buzzwell is going to be going to the top plane alongside the Blissey and Mew in the jungle. Yeah, and up top we got La Lad on the Blaziken going solo, and it looks like Comfy and Zorak helping each other in the jungle, and the Umbreon and the Delphox down bot. <clears throat> That's strange. Uh, not Delphox in jungle, no? Oh, no, I suppose you would give it to the Zorak. Yeah, it, you'd probably do like a rotation swap. Yeah. So you, you get the Zara Aura into his Zora arc form, and then the second rotation, you give it to the Delphox so you can get his moves up. I wonder if we'll see. So you know how Zora can like t turn into another Pokemon? Yeah. He's passive. Probably the most useless passive in the game, and, and, and it just. Honestly, so it's so crap. Wouldn't it be great if we actually see it used uh, in the tournament at some point, and, and it works? Yeah, it normally works in solo queue, but oh, big grab there from the Buzzwell Mew trying to oh, sec well, securing the farm. I always in the, the Buzzwell as well, the Zoro as well. Sorry. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, Those big that was, beams. That was very close. Mew, Mew almost taking out Zorok. I'm just gonna call him Zorok. Where yeah. his stupid name is. Uh, down yeah. on the bottom lane, though, we do have Nanashi trying to secure uh, the middle farm off of the crustal. Not sure if he was able to do that. Uh, Buzzwell applying a lot of pressure on the top lane with the Blissey alongside him. It's going to be very hard for Lowell, lads. Um, you know, not not evolved yet. Looks like Core is taking all the fuck. Yeah, taking all the farm. Yeah. Not even a, not even close. Sorry, but it looks on the bot lane. We do have a bit of a fight going on. Yeah, he's rotated down bot to get the crustal in the A9, but Mew's also rotated down to come and support. To, yeah. to make a 3v3. And this thing, Crustle was such a hard Pokemon to, to grab a hold of. It, just, especially if he takes the smell, uh, smell smash. Shell smash. Uh, Lowell yeah. Lad looks like he's on his own to start with, but where's his team? He might need a bit of support if he wants any of this farm. Yeah, yeah it's a bit, it's a bit yeah, even. Yeah. Lowell Lad yeah. really suffering now. Yeah, last game it took Lowell Lad to the sixth minute to actually become a Blaziken. And now he's going into the jungle to try and find anything to just evolve himself now. 
So would you say Blaziken is a better pick than Shifu uh, after the changes in the last balance patch? Uh, yes, I would agree. Blaziken's a much more better pick if you've got I... the idea to me. Oh, wait there. Oh, Buzzwell. lots of damage there on the bot lane. I'm sorry, something happening in the top lane. Uh, Buzzwell waiting in the bushes and he grabbed Larlad and just threw him about. Oh, but the God. comfy managed to save him. That damage from Buzzwell was such a strong Pokemon. Uh, we did have a... A huge engage in the bottom from the Delphox so a nice amount of damage to uh, Misfits but we do have our first objective spawn in the bottom lane it is a Registeel looks like Misfits are in a better position but there we go there's the, uh, the fire win being caught at from Umbreon yeah that is a perfect combo fire spin oh unfortunately though they're, they're getting nuked yeah. but yeah fire spin into an Umbreon me look it can be very oppressing for mm. uh, for Misfits but they were able to uh, basically turn around and kill the Umbreon quite nicely and the Zora. But they've got, they got to take this Reggie still on. Yeah. Uncontested, which is nice. Yeah. Another big Reggie secure for the team of Misfits down bot. And now it's up to Type Reaper to push oh, to get this Reggie, Reg Reggie Lecky. Sorry, guys. I just randomly looked at the, the floor. This uh, this Buzzwell doing a very good job of staying alive. Might even yeah, huge takedown yeah. there as well. That was a that was very and now well here done. comes a four v one assault. Can oh. the Blissey do anything to help him? The eggs are coming out and whoa, big damage from Lola. That was very nice to yeah. see. And looks yeah, like Mew's also going to be caught out there. Oh oh, it's a wave. Crustle coming. Go in, on Crustle. Tank. Oh unlucky, he caught out by the fire spin. Uh, could have could have taken out Pot Noodle there on the Umbreon. Yeah, it was a one tap away from it, but Pop Noodle managed to get away from it, luckily in time. Well, Lara had nearly going down there, but the comfy uh, babysitting is going really well. Nice ult from the Nashi there, making sure that the reduced healing on the goal pad or reduced healing or no healing? It's reduced healing. No he it? yeah, no healing at all oh. on there at all, which and, uh, secures them. Yeah, it secures the tier one goal, which is huge, and they're able to re to rotate into the Regilecki in the top lane, and they probably will take this. But Mew is on his way. Is he going to get there in time? Nah, unfortunately nah. not. Uh, this, La this Lad is now even. comfortable. Yeah, with only five minutes gone, we've got a ten point difference. Really, it's been a very close game this second game. Yeah, but we, you know, this is a lot closer. But we are again seeing misfits with a slight level advantage here. Um, Nice, nice pickup kill there on the A9, but you'd expect a Blazer King Umbria and Comfy to be able to do that. Lala chasing after this Mew, not sure how easy that is to do, having to back off there as he runs to his uh, flux zone. But it looks like, oh, so who's going in deep, Zora? Yeah. Oh, he ults to stay alive, but he gets away. <laughs> yeah, he gets away. Good zoning out. Yeah, fair play. Allowing, allowing his team oh. to break the tier one goal down bot. Unfortunately, Lala went in there on his own and a very smart wall there from the cross all uh, Isolated him. It looks like the similar thing's going to Pot Noodle here. Is he going to be able to get away? Uh, maybe, but the mute, the mute yeah. is there. Yeah, the mute or attack gets Pot Noodle right there, which now leaves it. <sighs> Zora just five v one. Yeah, Zora just diving into a team of five. That was not the play to make there, my friend. But uh, bless you for trying. Looks like Misfits have got to take this bottom objective uncontested. Yeah, with that. I saw the Comfy can trying to come down, but they thought better off, just better off to go and farm. But now we've got Crustle coming in with the A9 to try and jungle invade with the Blissey as well. And he gets egged. Oh, the, the egged smackdown by the, by the egg. Love it. And, and the now Nash. can they take, take Comfy. the Comfy! Comfy, don't be on your own. You're no, just a keychain. No, Comfy. If I was comfy there, I would have just sat on somebody. It's better to be sat on someone than to give away the free experience from that kill there. Oh, Buzzwell and a bit of damage here. Could potentially go down, but nice ult to keep him alive. Eggs from Blissey and a very smart eject. Here comes the lap, uh, the Lapras, the A9 with a huge follow-up. Yeah, taking down two of the enemy team, but we do have a hard engage from Lala with the comfy on top. Delphox being sniped at. Yeah, team wipe. Yeah, team wipe. Nothing they could do about that. Score smart, guys. A 30 followed by a 50. Yeah, big yeah. maths there by Misfits. Yeah, 40, 46 over the cap. Lovely. And they can help themselves to the Regilecki. As long as they grab this, they could, if they wanted to, potentially push this into the Tier 2 goal. Mm. I think... Uh, yeah. I think... I think you're starting to see the kind of... the weakness in Type Pooper's team here. And for, the, we've, you've got a Pokemon like... Zera, who's going to dive in on his own. 
you're then kind of left with Blaze King with the comfy and Umbreon. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like in these team fights, unless the Zora can kill people and get out quickly and reliably, it's always going to be a four v five. Yeah, with that, it's going to be backline slash 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 boom. Yeah, I mean, um, and you've got the misfits going more a bit more of a traditional comp. They've got a healer, they've got a defender, they've got another front line in Buzzwell. Um, and then you, you've got your two ranged DPS sitting in the back. Oh. But we do have the Rayquaza fight, and what's going on down here? Hot oh, Noodle in trouble there, getting cut off by the Crustles wall. Where is Delphox? What are you doing over there, then, Nashi? They'll help your team. Get a wee bit closer. Yeah, and this is the thing as well. There's, there's a lot of poke coming out from misfits, and. You gotta be really careful with that. Nice block there from the Zora, but he does cost him his life as the beam catches him. Um, it looks like they've just got to defend it, which is probably the smart thing to do. Yeah, it's the smart thing to do. They've got a very comfortable lead at the minute. Their big main problems of the Blaziken, Delphox, and Zorak can't get into those positions to take down their team. Right, Lilab might have actually been able to find a yeah, he gets one. chink in the armor, he takes down the support, which is a huge thing, but a big Buzzwell ult does take down the Blaziken. Oh, pot noodles going in. Okay, so that's uh, that's three out of the two left. So it's just um, two v four, two v three. Zora, that was a that was a weird engagement. Yeah, not a very good one there by oh, the Zora. I don't know. I mean, I suppose you have to make a play, but I just, it was not executed as well as it could have. So it does now put the pressure back on Type Whooper. No one's in the raid pit apart from you. We have Buzzroll and Bot Lane, Blissy on the top lane, they are covering it. I'm going to waiting in the bush. Hopefully the team are gonna wait to regroup and push as a team. I'm not sure what the Blazekin's doing. He's oh he's farming, okay. Yeah, I would if I was me, I would probably push as a team now. There's no way that you can rip Ray in thirty seconds now. You're gonna to have to like sneak around the back line and try and get a few dunks in. Well, they're going for it. Look at that damage are taking and actually yeah. less than half health already. They're going to they're gonna try and start this fight. Lola doing then, his best to get to this A9 but just constantly and pushed go, away. Oswald goes in for a hundred now. Yeah, I mean we're gonna see some scorings here, but it ain't gonna be enough. No. Zora is doing a nice little dance for us, but um yeah, all is said and done, I think. Yeah, and that's game two to Misfits, I believe. Oh, a little cheeky 20 at the end there. That's what we love to see. Okay, guys, that is going to be a 2-0 for Misfits. And they will win the evening, but we do still have one more battle between these two teams. So uh, before we, we move on to that, let's have a look at these stats. Oh, close game. Really, yeah, very really yeah, close game. Close game. Maybe Type we should have really have just and gone in on the pads and pressure the pads instead of fighting in the middle of Ray and get a few yeah. cheeky dunks in. Like little small caps. Okay, so we have a look at these uh, look at these scores. So a ten kills for Type Whooper, exactly the same as last game, but considerably less coming from Misfits. They did struggle a little bit this game in terms of getting the kills and the, the numbers are much lower. This is this was definitely a closer game. Yes, it was. And with that the music And it's the blaze again. Yeah, fair enough. So that's gonna it's interesting. I've not seen Lyle Lad play a Pokemon that isn't Blaziken or Shifu. So I don't actually know what he plays in these situations. Yeah. With that being said, Nanashi takes the Mew first. I think you're gonna see a lot of Mew takes this season with the buffs that it's recently got. Yeah, so Mew I'm not, I I'm not gonna lie, I can't stand Mew. I think Mew was I don't feel like Mew should be better, a better sniper than Venusaur, a better surf move than Blastoise. It probably isn't, but I think if you have access to all these moves, it should be considerably weaker, but it just never seems to feel like that. Uh, that's my little rant over. So then that's you picking up Mew, and then an Umbreon and a Blissey for Misfits. Very solid Pokemon. But in response, we are going to see a Garchomp, and this is this is excellent. We're seeing more and more Garchomps now. Yes. And, yeah, I think people were looking at Nuke playing Garchomp and it's just made them want to try the Garchomp more of how amazing he's done in this league with it. Definitely. Squishy Squad have made Garchomp a cool Pokemon. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah. they're, they're, they are definitely the trend setters. setters. I, uh, prove me wrong. It's a hill I'm willing to die on. Yeah, I have to agree with you there, Robo. And with that, we, they got their own dragon with the Tita and the Cram. Tita and Cram, that should be fun. Um, 
Titar is a not. It's not that Titar is a difficult Pokemon to to play. It's just a difficult Pokemon to get to work because if you if you get shut down too much early game, you don't hit your level nine. You don't evolve. You don't get your unite. You're that stupid cocoon thing that just bumps around, and yeah. Just tickles people. So, it'd be very interesting to see how Misfits uh, do with that. And we are seeing a Sableye. This is a very weird team from Misfits. I, I did not see this coming. No, I did not see this coming. Are we going to see like an invade, maybe, from the Sableye? Well, I, I'd imagine so. We are, we, we, it looks like we've seen a Floatstone and a, uh, a Stacked Iron one. It's a bit interesting. And sorry, just uh, just not to ignore our Type Group, but they have picked up the uh, the Comfy and the, and the Trevenant. Yeah. I do love Trevenant. Um, I just, I wonder why they've gone comfy again. Maybe the amount of damage that they can get done with La Lad on the guard jump, or yeah. maybe the Mew, Solar Beams to give it that extra um, with the thickness of the Tito and the diving cram all over the place. Maybe. Yeah, quite possibly. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how they go on this game. But for the last time for our first game on Saturday, we have Nanashi on Mew, La Lad on Garchomp. Ultanaut on Delphox, Lunali on Comfy, and Potnoon on Trevenant. And then we also have Rossum and Umbreon, Dox on Blissey, Dera, Cramorant, Cora on Tyranitar, and Kaiser Dezet, I think that's his name, on Sableye. Yeah. Yeah. Who, what do you think? I would say it's, it's 50 50 for me. It all depends how well they can get Cora up and running with the T Tar and how well Nanashi can secure with his beams. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, okay, so for the, for the third game, four, who is this? This is Type Weaver. In the top lane, we are going to be, sorry, in the bottom lane, we're going to be having Trevenant and the Mew. In the jungle, it looks like it's going to be the Delphox. And in the top lane, will be Comfy and Garchomp. Yeah, up top, we've got the Umbreon and the Blissey. In the jungle, we've got the Small Larvitar. And down bot, we got the Cram and Saberlife. Talking of Saberlife, let's, uh, let's have a quick look and see what he's doing. Uh, oh, he's dying. Okay, cool. I yeah. thought I thought he'd be I thought he'd be going straight for the enemy jungle, but no. Um, but we've got the Comfy and the Delphox chatting together to make sure that there's no two v one. Yeah, makes sense. Invades. Maybe the invades are uh, strictly for chaos from Golden Repress. Oh, oh clutch uh, attachment from the Comfy. They're able to keep Lalad alive. That was very close. Yeah, and with that, La Lad managing to escape and getting the last two bunnies to get even closer to that level five. Uh, oh, Sableye, be careful, dude. You've got an X speed going in really deep. Oh, just able to get away, but unfortunately, this uh, Cramorant does go down. Yeah, and here comes a three on one assault now. The jungler has come down to bot, whilst the Misfits jungler has gone top. Yeah, and Nashi getting caught out and. Oh my god, just gets away with a sliver of health. Just look at the top lane. Looks like Lani nearly been taken out there. I guess yeah, the, just uh, a comfy all by itself. Yeah, Garchomp must have gone down. There's a lot going on this bot lane. I'm trying really hard to, to view two yeah, lanes here. Uh, yeah, God. And now we've got Umbreon invading the jungle. Lala using its sand attack to decipher it, the Umbreon, but uh, Lala gets it. Lala finishing it, yeah, very nice. And he does get his evolution, so this is when he gets quite dangerous. Uh, Cora, Cora, Kira, still, still level seven. So doing really well on levels, actually highest level in the game, with an exception to the Del Fox. Looks like the team, more, more people are gonna be rotating for this first middle objectives. Yeah. Nice, Ooh. nice beam from the Nashi, but I think they only got the majority of that. Yeah. Quite. The Nashi and the Del Fox getting most of that right there, Robo, with the beams and the. And I believe it's a you know, he's got mystical fire. Who who wins this? Blissey and an Umbreon or Gar it's gotta be the Garchomp, right? Yeah, the Garchomp has got that ferocious especially if it's going dragon rush, dragon claw, it's gonna be one of those ferocious ones, but I believe he might be going Dragon Rush and Dig. Oh, that'd be interesting actually. So uh, Lara doing what you quite often see with Squishy Squad and pushing all the farm towards his goal just makes it a bit easier for him to take it. Um, but yeah, no, this is this has been very interesting. We do have a T tar though, fully evolved T tar before Ooh. the level nine before um, the first objective, which is extremely well played. And he's going straight into that red ice to try and secure it. We do have 
Oh, excuse me. I just have to quickly, quickly look here. Delphox is need going down to the oh, uh, we got him. Sableye. Yeah. yeah, an invade by the Sableye, keeping the Delphox at bay. Sableye's still in the area, though. Oh, has he got... He's going to die. Oh, oh beautifully done. That was very well done. Uh, in the bottom lane, so we do have uh, some pressure going down on the tier one goal. Tyranitar wanting to score his 39, but being interrupted by the Trevenant and the Mew. Yeah. And now oh. it's a big onslaught now. Can, will Teton use his ult to maybe break the tier one goal, Robo? Pot Noodle always going down, but some beautiful uh, grouping up there from the Woodhammer. Then actually dropping his beam, but maybe in the wrong position there. Cora able to pick him out. Nice eject on top of this Del Fox, but manages to get away. Looks like they will have to give up this tier one goal. Yeah. What's going on up here? Uh, oh, looks like they're going to get some goals on the tier two. Trevenant unaware getting his farm, and they do manage to score it, nearly bringing it down to half health. Uh, and they're just going to kind of get away with it. Yeah. Saber life getting free for free v one. Oh, get away, Saber life. No, we do have a guard shop now. Fully evolved off that kill. Very well done. Uh, they're all just just uh, misfits just chilling out on Team Whooper's side of the map. Quite. Yeah. Quite a lot, right? Yeah, just trying to starve Team Whooper from any farm, anything like that, so that they can stay at the levels that they're at. And a nice cram alt there protecting the Reggie Lecky. For themselves taking out Trevenant. Yeah, that's a very nice kill on the Trevenant there. It does take away uh, the only defender for Type Weeper. So they are going to probably... Well, are they? Yeah, they, they, they secure yeah. the Regilecki. And there's like a full-on fight here. But huge stun on all the Type Weeper. And it looks like Rossumin wants to try and stay in the area. Delphox trying to kite around. Garchomp going down to Trevenant. Big beam from Mew. Christ, there's a lot going on. Yeah, that was an excellent ult there by the Blessy onto the Cram. It was almost dying, and it manages to help peel back the team uh, of Type Rupa. Saber Eye just messing up his ult there. It's very sad to see. Will, uh, will he get away, though? No, unfortunately not. Delphox, really good job of chasing him down there. And they were, they are able to successfully defend this Regilecki. Yes, and with that being said, the Type Misfits still got that good vantage there, but they're pushing now as a Ooh, team. Yeah, Umbreon being jumped on by what was that, all five of them. Four of yeah, yeah. Everyone's pushed up top. Low leg going deep, but he finds himself caught between four of the enemy team, and he will go down and take the comfy with him. I think this is why I, I, I'm not a huge fan of comfy because if your host dies and you're, in, you know, you're you're as good as dead unless there's someone else in your team next to you. But when you're playing with Low Lad, who's a very divey player, it's it's yeah. kind of all or nothing. And you know, if you die, yeah. the comfy's gonna die as well. Yeah. As you see from previous week, Lalad likes a good old dive, he does. And with that, with a comfy on him, it's one of those that it well, doesn't really play to comfy specialty. <laughs> it just gets one shot. Yeah, I mean, maybe if someone was diving in with him, it wouldn't be quite as sad. Saber in the top lane, going down again to Delphox, trying to just constantly sneak these goals in at the top, but caught out, unfortunately. Yeah, now a nice rotation for Titar for this Reggie still. With the help of the Blissey. Yeah, it's it's a shame. A, a big shout out to um, was it Altenor on the Delphox. They're doing a really good job uh, in this game, but unfortunately, just don't think it's quite enough damage coming out from the rest of the team. It does look like double kill there from Sableye. How cheeky. He has his 40 points and he's running straight to that tier 2 goal. Oh. Comfy just gave up there. Yeah, I mean, what can, what can you do as a comfy? No. Breaking the tier two, very nicely done. Let's just check out the bot lane and see what is going on. Yeah, with that, it's just farm up your levels, type Reaper, and go and try and get a race still. Yeah, it's, this has been this has been very weird because a fortnight ago, type Reaper were very comfortably second. I'd say they were they were definitely doing really well. Uh, and they ha they don't their place, but you know last week and it's looking like this this week they they're going to be dropping six points uh, over, over over the two weeks, uh, yeah. so that will affect their standing. They, they they might put them from third down to potentially uh, full or fifth, depending on the other games. Yeah, and now we got a Reggie Lecky going in for tier two. Ooh. You know tier two just trying to go into their middle goal and type we will have to contest with this otherwise they might get double dunked on with oh, watch this guy Trump. he's chasing this umbreon he desperately wants to get this kill and this would be a really big kill actually before the uh the ray fight if he's able to get it 
Oh, big ult from Umbreon. He's going to use that to get away. So very oh. nice disengage. What's going on at the top here? Cramorant getting on top of the Delphox. Delphox just able to get away there. But it looks like they are going to rip through this Rayquaza. So it's going to be it's going to be all down to uh, still. Yeah. Cramorant ult going down. This could actually be a bit of an upset. Uh, no, that steals it. Yeah, like, I think he popped his ult. That was very smart. They still have to score. And there is a... Uh, yeah, yeah, interrupted by the Tyranitar. Perfectly the damage done. coming in clutch. Oh my god, that's huge. Uh, do any of them have... Oh, they still have their shields. Okay. Very well played from the Tyranitar, though. That is exactly what you do in these situations. Bottom lane, though, not going as well for Type Weepers. They've lost both their shields. Huge diving coming in from the uh, Umbreon. Chasing yeah. after this... What's, what's the saber life doing? He's just sitting in base. He could have tried to break some shields Wait, there. What? Oh dear, not sure what that's about. Maybe he's just giving up after uh, after, yeah. after Ray. That'd be quite sad. Yeah, you know what? He's still very close. Oh, and right, if, right. If, we got Umbreon on breaking. Is this gonna go in? Oh, oh. very close. <sighs> yeah, needle being a tease there. Yeah, the thing is, even with hundred, it might it wouldn't have been enough to put them back in lead, but it certainly would have helped. Glissy is going down. I mean. <sighs> Misfits, you need to talk to your, your saber. Right? He's the king of back capping. This is this is where you really wanted him. He could he could he yeah. could definitely got some scores in. What a shame. Uh, yeah. We'll have to find out after the game what's happened there. But you know, we've still got thirty seconds left. They're only hundred and forty three points behind. It is definitely possible. Well, it's not possible. If there's a uh, a Del Fox yeah. sitting on the goal. Lola going absolute berserk though, ripping through the enemy team. Just Cramorant left. Cramorant's gone. That is going to yeah. be all she wrote. Yeah. But that's a very important point for Type Rupert, not going down to a 3 nil loss, but just a 2 1. Look at this. Instead. Look at this. What are you doing, friend? Oh, dear. What a shame. Uh, and another kill. So th th that, that's a really big deal, actually, for Type Rupert. They, they, although they lost 2 1, the fact that they got the 1 point not only denies Misfit a point, which will actually really keep them low on the table, but it, it, it makes it harder for other teams to kind of take over type whooper in the league so that was a that was huge yeah it was a huge big crucial point maybe come the final end of the season yeah and just have a look at these uh these kills so we've got 17 kills in one team and we have 19 20 kills for misfit so much closer game in terms of uh, kills and assists but we look at the damage a big fat 96 coming out of the Delphox very nice that's what we like to see and they're also an equally impressive 78